With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone, calculate the magnetic induction at point O if the wire carrying a current I has the shape shown in the figure. So if you see these are the wire. So if I mark this wire as wire 1, wire 2 and this circular is wire 3, right? So the net magnetic field at O will be the vector summation of the 3, right? So if you see here, the wire 1 is a semi-infinite wire and direction you can see by keeping the thumb in the direction of current and curling your finger, it will be directed in downward direction that is minus k cap. So I will write down the B1 vector is simply mu naught I by if you see the current is I in the three wires minus k cap I will write down. Now this is if you see wire 2 is like this. So if I write down a dotted line here right so this distance here will be r root 2 r by root 2 right and uh, if you see this angle it will be 45 from the symmetry right so we know that the magnetic field because of a semi infinite wire at a distance r is mu naught i by 4 pi r it will be sin alpha plus sin beta Right. So, this will be the magnetic field. So, if you see here the direction you can check by keeping the thumb in the direction of current and by curling your finger. So, just keep the thumb in the direction of current and curl your finger. What will be the magnetic field direction at uh, the center? Right. So, if you see it will be in x direction. Right. So, it will be in i cap direction. So, we will write down. B2 vector, it is equals to mu naught i by, so this r is not the radius, this is the distance from the wire, right. So I will write down 4 pi distance from the wire is this and uh, sin alpha, so if you see here the alpha and beta, if you put the value, it is sin 90. And uh, you can see here the alpha direction is taken in opposite direction. So, we will put a negative sign here. So, it is 1 minus root 2. So, you can take uh, 1 by root 2 co common here and uh, we will write down it is mu naught i by 4 pi r root 2 minus 1, right. So, as we have seen here, the direction will be in i cap i cap vector and uh, now you can simply find out the magnetic field because of this circular part you just curl your finger and it will be in the in the direction if you curl your finger it will be in k cap direction right so if you see here the b3 will be equals to simply we know that because of a circular arc into mu naught i by 2r. So, if you see here, this is 2 pi into 3 by 4. So, this will be 3 by 4 basically. So, it will be 3 by 8. So, 2 pi into 3 by 4 divided by 2 pi it will be this and we will write down this. So, as you got the B2, now you can just add them to get the net magnetic field at the center. We understood by curling the finger in the direction of current, it is minus I cap and minus I cap. Now, I will write down the net magnetic field. It will be B1 vector plus B2 vector plus B3 vector. So, just add them and uh, we will get the net magnetic field. So, if you see this is mu naught i 
by 4 pi r this minus this and here this is also in i cap right so we will write down minus 3 by 8 mu naught i by r this whole i cap and the j the k cap component is mu simply mu naught i by 4 pi r so this will be the answer thank you for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today